Daniel. Daniel. Daniel, blame you! The house is on fire! Brother Daniel, it's Eli. Yes, it is. I've been spreading his word. Far and wide, far and wide. So much travel for him. I've been working in radio. Oh, so much has been happening. But to be here, to see you and find you well, is wonderful. We have a chance to catch up. My brother Daniel. We're such old friends. So much time. Things go up, things go down, but at least the Lord is always around. We've seen ups and downs, haven't we? Are things down right now, Eli? No, no. But I come with some sad news. Perhaps you remember Mr. Bandy. Mr. Bandy has passed on to the Lord. He lived to be 99 years old, God bless him. He has a grandson. Have you met his grandson, William? William Bandy is one of the finest members we have in the Church of the Third Revelation. He is young, fit, with good, strong, charismatic ability, and he is headed for wonderful things. He's eager to come to Hollywood to be in movies. He is very good looking, and I do believe he will have success. Well, that's wonderful. Would you like me to speak with him? Daniel, I'm asking if you'd like to have business with the church in developing this lease on Young Bandy's Thousand Acre Tract. I'm offering you to drill on one of the great undeveloped fields of Little Boston. Well, I'd be happy to work with you. You would? Of course. Wonderful. But there's one condition to this work. All right. I want you to tell me that you are a false prophet. I want you to tell me that you are, and have been, a false prophet, and that God is a superstition. But that's a lie. It is a lie, I cannot say it. When can we begin to drill? Right away. How long will it take to bring in the well? Should be quick. I would like a $100,000 signing bonus, plus the five that is owed to me, with interest. Well, that's only fair. I am a false prophet. God is a superstition. If that is what you believe, I will say it. Say it like it's your sermon. Daniel. This is foolish. Say it. I am a false prophet. God is a superstition. Think of it as this is your church, Eli. This is your congregation. I am a false prophet. God is a superstition. Say it like you mean it. I am a false prophet. God is a superstition. Say it louder! I am a false prophet. God is a superstition. Those areas have been dripped. What? Those areas have been drilled. No, they haven't. See, it's called drainage, Eli. I own everything around it, so I get everything that's underneath it. But there are no derricks there. This is the bandy tract. Do you understand? Do you understand? I drink your water, Eli. I drink it up. And every day I drink the blood of lamb from Bandy's tract. Oh, Daniel. I need help. I feel the walls closing in. I'm in desperate times. I need a friend. I've sinned. I need help. I'm a sinner. I've let the devil grab hold of me in ways I've never imagined. I'm so full of sin. The Lord sometimes challenges us, doesn't he? Oh, yes, he does! He's completely failed to alert me to the recent panic in our economy and 
This I must have. This. I've invested. My investments have... Oh, Daniel, I won't bore you, but if I could grab the Lord's hand for help, I would, but he does these things all the time. These mysteries he presents, and while we wait, while we wait, we wait for his word. You are not the chosen brother, Eli. It was Paul who was chosen. He came to me, and he told me about your land. You're a fraud. Why are you talking about Paul? Don't say this. Don't say this to me, Daniel. I did what your brother couldn't. I broke you, and I beat you. Oh, it was Paul who found me. He's the prophet. He's a smart one. He knew what was here, and he took me here to take it out of the ground. Stop crying, you sniveling ass! Stop your nonsense! You're the younger brother, Eli. You always will be. Your land has been had. You lose, you idiot. You lose. If you would just take this lease on the bandy lot, the church... Drain it, Eli. Drain dry. Drain dry, you boy. If you have a milkshake, and, and I have a milkshake. This is my straw. You see my straw? This is my straw here. And my straw reaches across the room and starts to drink your milkshake. I drink your milkshake! I drink it up! Don't bully me, Daniel! Do you think that your little song and dance would save you? I am the third revelation. I am the one who was chosen. I beat you. I am older and wiser than you, you sniveling boy. I am the third revelation. I am the third revelation. I told you I'd eat you up. How dare you come to my home? How dare you? I'm finished.